Earlier this week, I finally wrapped up this last semester at the University of Maryland. And so what that means is finally I have all the time in the world to work on all these different videos and projects and share just generally all my ideas with the entire world. Or as much of the world as is subscribed to my YouTube channel. And the first idea I'm going to share with all of you is this project that I worked on around Easter time. A lot of you liked my past OCaml videos, especially the one about an OCaml server, and I had always wanted to know how do you make a game in a functional programming language? And on top of all that, I also always loved dungeon crawler games, especially like text-based dungeon crawlers, and I really wanted to make one. So I combined all three of those, and I put them into Crypts and Camels, which is exactly what's I'm going to show all of you today. I built a text-based dungeon crawler in recursive OCaml, which is pretty cool. I mean, I still use object-oriented approaches to like rooms and enemies and all that, but the main gameplay loop, the main how you go through the dungeon itself is recursive. And I'll explain that after I play through the game just a little bit. So without further ado, let's play through the game. All right, we've got a terminal up in here and we're gonna run the game by doing dot slash run. Okay, so entering text, you enter Zulu Bra. That's a bit weird for a dungeon name. I imagine it as some sort of like more African inspired type of dungeon. It was really cool. I came up with an idea for it when I was a lot younger because I've always wanted to make my own sort of dungeon crawler game. I just never was able to bring it to fruition. So I decided to fold over into this project. So anyway, you enter into the dungeon. There's a small sandstone room because desert humidity in the air because desert and we have two corridors we can go into so i'm gonna go ahead and go into the left hallway left hall let's see you walk down the left corridor as the sands give way to solid stone floors light becomes scarce you see you take a torch and you discover ancient glyphs adorning the walls and i can go into a burial room so i'm gonna go into the burial room Oh boy. Okay, so we have a little bit of red text here. An arisen mummy has appeared. He attacked me for two damage and I can just attack. I did one damage. He has five health left. This might take a little while. Okay, the mummy is dead and I can now enter the cursed altar. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into there. And that appears to be where the dungeon ends. Yes, when I built this around Easter time, I mostly focused on the core gameplay aspects. I didn't really design much content for it. And that's because I wanted to at least do a little bit of program in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and design some content for it, i.e. a new dungeon, as I'm explaining how some of these core systems work. So how exactly do you make a text-based dungeon crawler in OCaml? Well, it all depends on how you want to make your mindset. With OCaml, sure it's a functional language, but allows you to do object-oriented programming. So you can create stuff like classes and all that. And that's actually how I represented rooms and enemies. So each room is a object of some room class. Each enemy is the same thing, but with an enemy class. And essentially, I have the main room, the lobby that you start in and then you can choose to go into other rooms. And the dungeons are laid out in a tree structure, not a graph, but a tree. Now, the way to traverse a tree traditionally is recursion. OCaml loves recursion. So I figured, yeah, this would be a great type of game for me to build in OCaml. So that's really all I did is you, there's some function that gets called when you enter a room. It displays all the text associated with that room it shows you any enemies that might be hiding in that room. And then after you take care of all that, it will allow you to go into one of the rooms that it might link to. And then you call that same function on that next room. So it's essentially just a big old recursive loop to get through a tree shapes dungeon. The dungeons themselves, I can actually write in JSON. I built a simple little JSON parser for my dungeon program. So that way I don't have to edit base OCaml code every single time I want to add a new dungeon or a new enemy or stuff like that. 
So I can just go ahead and write as many dungeons as I want in JSON and the game will load it up and just run it for me. As for battles, I originally was going to make it, you know, just like a for loop or like a loop that said while the enemy's health is above zero. And then what I realized is that you can easily turn a loop into recursion. So what I do is I have some, you know, do attack function where you attack the enemy, the enemy attacks you. And then if the enemy's health is still above zero, it just recursively calls the same do attack function. And that's really all there was to the battle system. You don't actually really take damage or the game says that you do, you don't actually have any health. So there's no stakes here, but I just wanted to get out a really simple text-based dungeon crawler just to show you guys on YouTube how you would build something like this. And with that, the new dungeon is finally complete. So I'm going to do a full playthrough of this new dungeon I just built. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna make a new dungeon. Um, I lied. So here we go with the full version of Zalubara and we're gonna run it right now. Okay, last time I think I went into left hall, so we're gonna go ahead and go right this time. And we're being attacked by a little scarab. Not as scary as a mummy, but we're gonna go ahead and take him out real easy. Uh, small chamber, narrow tunnel. I am going to go small chamber. And here we have a raptor, so I'm gonna Attack him, attack him. He's dead, but now he has a friend. Venom hide. Raptor. Attack him, attack him. Dead. And the royal burial chamber. Sounds like somewhere I want to be. Let's go into there. And there we go. We're rich. Obviously, I didn't make these dungeons too long just because I want to just get the main idea out of there. But if you like to download my code, take a look at it, or even write a dungeon of your own, I will have a link to the GitHub repo in the description of this video. And that's all we have for our OCaml text-based dungeon crawler. Thank you all so much for watching till the very end of this video. If you'd like to see me work on more projects like this in OCaml, or maybe in some other language like Rust or Idris, please just let me know in the comment section down below. If you found it helpful or entertaining, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on the social medias list in the description, or you can also click the bell below this video somewhere to stay notified for when I upload a new video. Apart from that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.